Hello, today on the bench we have a Colts catalog from September of 1905. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through this and it'll probably take two parts again just like the catalog from 1890 but you can see some other interesting models in this uh, brochure that weren't in the 1890 catalog. Of course we have the automatics that uh, Colt acquired the patent from Browning in 1896, so we can see what all they've developed in that time from 1896 to 1905. This um, brochure starts out with the revolver lineup that was current at the time. So here we have the first page, and we get into a little bit of a, a look at what the armory looks like at that point in time. Um, the guarantee, exchanges, just some of the stuff that uh, the uh, warranties and so forth. Finish, ammunition, solid frame, orders, postage, and registry. And you can see how incredibly cheap the postage was at that point in time. And then as we move on, some really cool illustrations that shows the automatic ejection or a simultaneous ejection I should say and then here's the contents of course of what we have in this brochure and as we move on we'll come to the new service double action revolver now one of the things we'll notice in this uh, reproduction, reproduction uh, printing of this 1905 catalog there are uh, no prices in this although it is very close to what the original was like and here you can see the new army and the new navy what they offered here and uh, uh, being as how this is filmed in HD uh, one of my viewers on the last video pointed out that how well this looks on a large screen you can actually read uh, what is printed on these pages so I won't bore you with reading these to you but we'll just kind of thumb through here and you can see what all was in this catalog now here we have the Marine Corps model the uh, double action revolver and the officers model target double action revolver then here on page 14 we have the uh, police positive double action revolver and here we have the uh, police positive target double action revolver and you can see the difference in the length of the barrels on those and then here we go to the police positive double action revolver and a pocket positive double action revolver here on page 17 and as we continue on, we have the uh, double action revolver here, a 38 caliber without ejector, and this one is with ejector. And we'll go ahead and move on to page 20 now. Here on page 20, we have the double action revolver in the 41 caliber without ejector. And here it is with the ejector on page 21. And we'll continue on here to the single action army. And then the Bisley model single action revolver. And then here we'll go ahead and go to page 24. The Bisley target model or model target whatever. Uh, here's the Derringer single shot and we'll go ahead and go on to the next page 26 and here we start to get into the automatics now here we have the uh, 1905 military model and it of course has the uh, combination stock and holster and you can see an example of one of these on the channel here I have done a video on one of these uh, a few months ago and quite an interesting piece and here it is the 1905 without now there was uh, 
just about 6,600 of these 1905s made, so quite a rare pistol. And of course, you can see the grip angle here being almost perpendicular. Um, kind of an awkward, uh, awkward uh, hand position for that. And then we have the uh, 1902 military model over here, which had a lot of the improvements that were recommended on the 1900 from the uh, military as they took in uh, field trial with these pistols. And uh, here we'll go ahead and go on to the next page. And here we have the sporting model, which of course is basically Colt using up all the parts for the model 1900 that was the original with the sight safety. And then here we have the uh, automatic pocket model of the uh, 38 caliber, commonly referred to as the pocket uh, hammer. And of course, there's all these pistols are featured here on the video, uh, or excuse me, on the channel. Uh, unfortunately, most of those were filmed with a flip share, so you won't be able to see great detail with those. I'll be able to go back here shortly and start to refilm some of those in the HD, so you'll be able to really see the detail of the pistols themselves. And then here, on the next page, we have the pocket model uh, caliber 32, the 1903 pocket hammerless, as it's commonly referred to. And then here we have the Colt automatic gun and Gatling gun. And here you can order them in uh, two different calibers, uh, 30 cal or uh, 7 millimeter. And uh, go ahead and take a look here. Here's the uh, Colt automatic gun, and there is one of these in the 1914 version that is featured on this channel. And also we have a Gatling gun here on the other page, page 33, 800 shots per minute, 400 shots per minute. Pretty cool. And then here we'll go ahead and move over, and here we can start to see the component parts of all these pistols. And the prices and what you would need to order if uh, you had to get some replacement parts. Proper names and as we go to the back of this book that's pretty much what this book is going to end with is just component parts exploded views of the pistols so you can know everything that your pistol uh, all the names of all the parts in here the uh, pocket model of the uh, 32 so that you've got your uh, 1903 pocket hammerless and of course the component parts and then we're going to get into the revolvers here so now we can see all the different pieces that are in the revolvers and we'll just go ahead and thumb on through it looks like I'll have enough time to finish this video in one section instead of two parts and uh, Pocket positive police component parts and the prices of the uh, 38 caliber uh, police positive revolver over here on page 43. And here we go again with uh, component parts of the double action revolvers 38 and 41 calibers. All the different screws they take. And here we have the single action army and the Bisley model revolvers. As we move on now to the uh, price list, and then we have the cartridges used in revolvers and automatic pistols. And they continue on here, page 48. And the one clue down here that you're looking at a reproduction, 1905 simulation. All right, that was a very quick, brief look at our Colts revolvers and automatic pistols brochure from September 1905. So there you can see a span of 15 years between the 1890 and the 1905 brochures. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video showing another uh, piece of Colt history. All right. Thanks for tuning in and watching and have a great day.